So I just wanted to cover rendering liquids uh, in glasses and in bottles. Uh, there's just an important point here that you need to, to think of. Um, basically, you know, this is how it should look and this is how it's often done and done incorrectly. And if you look in here, you'll see you can see the edge of the glass. And when it's done correctly, the liquid looks as though it goes right up to the edge. And here, you'll see it looks like there's a hole, you know, you've got all the glass and then you've got this surface inside, so it looks like a block inside the glass. Here, it looks like a block inside the glass, and when it's done correctly, like I said, it looks like it goes right the way to the edge. Now, the reason for this is simply that, you know, in reality, two surfaces touch. And so you get the refraction of the glass hitting the refraction of the liquid. But in 3D, surfaces can't touch. You know, they, they can't be, in one way you look at it, well, they can't be in the same space, which is the same as in, you know, in reality. A basic law of physics is that two objects can't occupy the same space. And in 3D workspace, you can't have two surfaces in the same space. If you do, you get a weird, weird render. You know, in reality, surfaces can touch. The molecules can touch each other. The electrons from one su surface and another can touch. But in 3D, you can't have that effect. And so often what will happen is somebody's modeling a liquid and they'll go, okay, I'm going to put this just inside. So if you put it just inside, you end up with this, where you end up with this block. But if you look at references, yeah, I've just taken a couple. You'll see you don't get that. You'll see it looks as though it goes right the way to the edge of the glass. And like I said, this is simply because um, the refraction of the two surfaces. And if you look at this liquid up here, again, you get the same thing. It looks as though it's going right the way to the edge. It doesn't look like a big block inside here it looks as though you know the red wine is coming right the way through to this edge here it looks a bit different that's just because of reflection of of the objects here behind but here you can see it looks as though the red wine is going right the way to the edge of the surface and it looks like that with everything in here you know you can't see the glass up here you can see the glass but here you can't see the glass surface and again here in this reference it looks as though the liquid goes right the way to the edge so really what you need to do is the chaos group have covered it here if you just google chaos group liquid in glass you can find this so the way the way you do this the way you make this look correct is you take your object in this case i'm going to take a glass and i'm going to press alt w to make this full screen and what i'm going to do is I've done here simply a line and then I've laid that and I'm just going to make a clone so right click clone copy alt Q so this is it isolated I'm going to right click convert to edit poly F for front Z for zoom I'm going to press 4 and I just decide you know for polygons I just decide where I want to go so let's say I want you know this much of the glass to be filled with wine I'm going to delete this off now I've got two separate elements here so I can go into element click here and click delete now here you can see I've got backface curl on you know which you can do by right clicking and go object properties and turn on backface curl here so you can see the objects inside out what I'm going to do is click here on border and then just click and drag over here so I have this border selected you can either click here on cap but I'll often just right click and click cap so now we know this is this is a cap surface. Now you can't see this because this is refractive. So just to show you what's happening, I'm going to open the material editor and I'm going to go to material V-Ray. Just take a plain V-Ray material and assign this. Here I'm still in wireframe, so I'm just going to press F3 to come out of wireframe. And you can see that that's inside out. Now if I press F4, what I'm going to do is, at this stage, like I said before, you know, we've got these two surfaces on top of each other. So we've got the glass, 
and we got the wine and the wine is on the same surface as the glass which is going to just render weird if we leave it like that so what I'm going to do is go front I'm going to come in and I'm going to put on here a shell modifier and this outer amount because it's flipped the surface is flipped this outer amount if I press F3 you'll see it's going inwards so just know when you put a shell on you know which say which way your object is facing where where the normals are because otherwise outer is going to be going the wrong way so I'm going to zero that and to do it correctly you can just make it larger like this okay you, what you don't want to be doing is making it smaller so let's make it larger and what we want to do is we want to have it intersecting with the outside surface it doesn't need to go up to the edge you know just a little bit just so it intersects and then right click convert to edible poly alt q f3 i'm just going to go here five because we know if i press f3 you've got the other one inside we need to delete the one inside so i'm just going to select this and then i just pressed f2 to make a look at that press Control i to invert the selection and if i press f3 now you can see the inside is selected and i'm going to delete that so now i've got my liquid here it intersects and I'm just going to take one of the liquid materials. We'll take this red wine and assign this. And this red wine, really, I've put this refractive color in here, which is these. This is the setting for that. And I've made it this reflective. And I've left Fresnel on at 1.6. And there is no fog in this case. It's just done through this refractive color. The glossiness is here and the IOR is here. The other thing I have here is I have reflect on backside turned on. Okay, so that's my red red wine. And that now will render correctly. So that's what you do if you want to have, you know, wine or a liquid render correctly. The way you do it is you just make it so it's just inside the surface. And I've done that with all of these. And when you do that, you get a correct render which looks like this. Now, one last thing I'm just going to cover here, just so you can see, is if you look at these, you'll see they all have this little edge just where the liquid curls up on the glass. And some of you may have noticed that I didn't do that here. You've got a little edge here, you've got some bubbles. And here you've got this, this edge coming up. And to make it real simple, the way we do that, I'm just going to take this one I deleted. Okay, to make this simple, what I'm going to do is just take this here, and you can just come along here and click bevel, and you can turn off that height, just right click down to zero. This is coming by one millimeter, and just drop that down and maybe even make that less. And then click do it again. And if I go front view, F3, and then push that up, and maybe even do it one more time and push it up. And then click there. And if you want that little lip, that's what you would do to create that little lip there for when you render. And that's how you create liquids to go inside glass.